Good morning. My name is Lee, and I'm here to show the world that skeptics do believe in Adonai that you call God, but they won't admit it. I run in the bloodline of Richard Dawkins of England, but I am totally in disagreement with his way of teaching evolution. First of all, let's face the facts. The problem with scientists and skeptics is they refuse to accept creation because they think that they are the creator. Here's a man stuck on a planet Earth, can't get off to get out into the farthest of space, but yet and still they tell you how the universe was created from the beginning, going back to the Big Bang. This is for all of you skeptics. I know that you understand Adonai. Shemai Adonai Israel, El Elohim. He is what he is, as been said. Let's, let's look at the stripes on a zebra, the design on antelopes, raccoons, all the animals on earth, no matter what, present or future. They all have an instinctive design of their own, the same as man, black, brown, white, whatever. And they all can get one another pregnant. Every human being can get another human pregnant, even though they have different colors. And they look alike, walk alike, have the same body features and everything. Only difference is design of hair and colors and design of attitudes. But the instinct of a human being is far reaching in comparison with anything else in the universe. Now here it is that I asked Richard Dawkins and all the other skeptics, if there was evolution and you say it started from the Big Bang, yet you have to prove to anyone what was the beginning of the Big Bang? You don't know. You use uh, hypothetical questions, give hypothetical answers, but you don't know because you weren't there. But in order for us to think like we do, which we call it intelligence, then there would have had to be someone with articulate ways of thinking in order to make or produce or create whatever it is that you see today. See, we got human problems. All the human problems are their own imagination right here on this earth. And that imagination of man on earth is nothing but self-destruction. His imagination claiming that he knows more than the intelligence that was given to us. Why is it that it's so hard to understand creation when it makes sense and evolution does not make sense? This is my point. That until you prove that evolution can create, now note that point, evolution can create all the things you see in the heavens, all the different species and humans on the earth. Until you can prove that evolution can give you instinct, I'll never believe you. Because you can't prove it. Why is it that gravity holds everything, as Einstein and Newton has proved and many other scientists have proved, that gravity keeps everything 
in perfect order. Gamma rays, neutral blasts from far, far out in space, and they don't know where it comes from, beyond the universe. But yet and still, they call it evolution. Well, I, I put it this way. If evolution is the creation of why we are here, then that's creation, right? If evolution created, and you state that there wasn't a creation, well, how could evolution create what we got if it's just evolution? So Dawkins, I run in your bloodline, Richard. Even though you didn't know it, I carry the same name. I am totally against not only you in your way of explaining evolution and all you skeptics that don't believe in I don't I. Show me a man, and I don't believe in Nostradamus, he copied off the Old Testament of the Hebrews and changed his stuff like he knows everything. I don't believe none of these people like Nostradamus uh, predicting this and all that junk. They're trying to steal the law and the explanation of Genesis and pretend as though they know everything. Far from the truth. Uh, let's take a look at uh, um, what is it? Um, uh, the, the snake. They speak of the snake in the garden. People, let me explain the snake. There was no snake in the garden. The snake was temptation of imagination of man's imagination you misquote everything about the garden of eden first of all because you weren't there either i wasn't either but it makes sense that there couldn't have been a snake talking because the way idonai explains it when he places the tree in the garden he says thou shalt not eat of the tree of good and evil for it is a serpent unto you the serpent is imagination now you see all of these uh, skeptics with their imagination that's the snake you follow me Dawkins and when you take hold of skeptics and try to disprove Adonai which is the word of creation before there was even before there was a big bang. If you'll notice, God never says there was a big bang and then I was. He says before there was the bang, I was. And he said, let there be. So even if it was a big bang, look who said let there be a big bang. But I love skeptics because they are so far off and that is the serpent is because they want to be God and since they're not and call the children of Satan they will go around preaching claiming that God is so evil or well, why is it doing this why is it doing that well look what it says in Genesis and all the other chapters don't question the Creator and that's what uh, skeptics are doing they're questioning the Creator when they don't even know who the Creator is. So that means that they are the Creator. These people like Dawkins and all these other skeptics, they claim that they're the Creator and they know what's what. Scientists do prove one thing I agree with. What they're proving is not that there was evolution, they're actually proving that God does exist. Because all of the things that God quoted it's being proven by their searching to prove him wrong. See, that's what you got to look at. Skeptics are trying to prove that God does not exist, that he's wrong. And this is what Adonai is showing a, a wise man. Watch the scientists. They're very smart, that's for sure. This is why they can show more in depth because of their studies than the average bear meaning human 
because they're wolves in lamb's clothing out to try to prove I don't I wrong, which is impossible. I love to watch science. Uh, I watch geography, science, history channel and all that. And everything that I see them showing is proving that the word of Adonai is from creation and the ability to think for the devil to try to prove Adonai wrong. Stop. I will continue. This is part one. I'm a native blood kin to Richard Dawkins.